In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily whiten eyes while keeping them looking natural in Photoshop. Hi there, Michael Volshinovich here from Vibrant Shot. You can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash vibrantshot and also at vibrantshot.com. So in this very brief tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can uh, eliminate, you know, colors within the sclera or the white of the eye and essentially make it more white and pleasing while at the same time keeping it looking natural. So one of the problems that I often notice is people tend to just use a hue saturation adjustment on the white of the eye and then it turns it completely desaturated and the, you know it takes away the color that's there but the problem is it also eliminates some of the colors that we want to keep there. Uh, some of the little red veins that we have, uh, some of the little spots uh, within the eye, we don't want to completely eliminate all of that. We want to keep a bit of it since uh, it essentially helps us to retain a much more natural look. If you take it all away uh, the image starts to look a little bit fake. So what I find is the best way to actually eliminate color within the white of the eye is to treat it almost like a color cast and essentially try and offset it. So we have um, this image that I'm going to use as a demo. It's a, just a crop from a phase one shot I took, which is going to serve us well um, because we do have a very noticeable uh, coloration to the sclera. And essentially the reason that's happened here is because we have this blue makeup around the eye, uh, which is essentially being picked up by the white of the eye and essentially, you know, giving us that color in the white. So we want to eliminate that somehow. And since we're going to treat it as a color cast, uh, I'm going to use our selective color tool, which is actually going to work um, pretty well for this. So we're going to grab our lasso tool. And the first thing we need to do is make a selection of uh, that area. So you don't have to be super precise with this. You don't have to pen tool it out. Uh, you can if you want, uh, if you want to really be precise, but I find it's more than enough just to use a lasso tool and go around it. So we're just going to make a quick selection here. Something like that. Uh, make sure you're in the additive mode over here. So let's just check that one. And now we're going to go on to the other side, like so. And uh, then we're going to hit the Q key to bring up the quick mask mode. And we're just going to feather this out a little bit. So we're going to go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. And I think uh, probably around eight pixels here should be a pretty good number. Click OK. And what I'm going to do is I'm also going to grab the gradient tool and I'm just going to kind of paint in black in the corners here just to eliminate some of this um, over here in the corner because we don't necessarily want to remove all of that. There's always a little bit of coloration in there. So I just want to feather it out of that corner there and maybe just take a little bit out from the top here. So uh, a little on this side and I think we're good there. So hit the Q key. That's going to give us our selection. And then we're going to use selective color. And there's no real color that we want to target here per se. So I'm just going to use the neutrals uh, color because again, with color casts, it's going to affect neutrals in general. So I find that neutrals tends to be uh, the best tool uh, or the best color uh, selection to use for eliminating uh, these color problems. So the other thing you want to do is make sure that you have your info panel open. If you don't go into window and uh, make sure that info is checked. And what that will essentially do is if we look in this area over here, and we kind of mouse over it, we can see the distribution of colors. And uh, obviously, you know, instinctively, we can see that it's kind of greenish in here, kind of cyan-y. Um, so, you know, we can pretty much tell what we need to do. But uh, in case you're kind of new to color, uh, this will give you a bit of a roadmap uh, as far as what you need to do. So we're just kind of hovering over this. We can see that we have a lot of cyan, um, a fair bit of yellow, and not too much magenta. Now, what we essentially need to do is we need to get those somewhat close to one another. We don't want them perfectly even um, because, again, you know, we, we don't expect the, the eye to be a neutral color entirely, but we want to at least get them closer together uh, to eliminate some of that color cast. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to operate on uh, the cyans, I think. So we know that we have a lot of cyan here, 55% uh, versus, let's say, 38% on magenta. So Going into cyans, you know, if we pull this like crazy, it starts to look ridiculous. So you're never going to pull this more than maybe like plus, minus six or seven. Uh, that's the max that you would really ever go with this unless you have a crazy color cast. 
Uh, so basically we're just going to kind of inch down until things are looking okay. And I think probably around minus two, minus three is going to be all right. And uh, next thing we want to do is we need to fix the magentas because they're pretty low uh, in terms of distribution. Now what we know is the opposite color of magenta is green and we have a lot of green in the eye. So by adding magenta, we're going to take some of that green away. So again, we're going to just crank up our magenta here. And as we can see, that's looking like too much. So kind of easing this back until we're at a happy point getting there, I think. So let's try maybe plus three. And uh, then finally, our yellows, I think I want to just maybe ease them down slightly. So let's just go ahead and turn that way down. That's two blue. And maybe in and around minus two looks pretty good. And now if you want to lighten it a little bit, uh, again, I caution you about doing this because if you do it too far, it again starts to look fake. But sometimes through this process of adjustment here, we do tend to uh, darken the eye slightly. If that happens, you can just play with your black point a bit here and essentially just uh, take away blacks. Now, if you go to this level, again, starts to look pretty ridiculous. So don't ever really go more than like one or 2% on this. So I'm gonna go minus one uh, for this uh, particular case. And if we just zoom out and toggle this on and off, you can see that that has pretty much eliminated that kind of ugly greenish blue color cast, but a lot of the redness, you know, some of the veining that's in there has stayed and, and really that's what we want. I mean, we don't want to entirely eliminate that and make uh, the whites of the eyes look completely porcelain. And as you can see, I mean, that was fairly straightforward. All we did was, you know, a couple of sliders and just requires a little bit of uh, intuition as far as, you know, what adjustments you need to make. But I find it makes it a lot easier if you look at this info panel, look at the distribution of colors here and kind of think about which colors you need to go up on and which colors you need to go down on uh, to get you fairly even. Now I'm going to show you also how to do this inside of Capture One. So check out my video for that. Um, but that is it for this particular tutorial. So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel below uh, to get future updates just like this one. And also follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash vibrant shot. We'll see you next time.